Financials allows for lot number tracking throughout the purchasing and sales process, as well as the internal movements of inventory. In this example, we will show item tracking for standard inventory. To allocate the lot number tracking for an item, you must first open the item card. Now, open the item tracking fast tab. Here you can choose an item tracking code. Press the advanced button and select the view function in the Windows ribbon to view the item's tracking code card. Users can allocate for the lot number tracking to take place during the inbound or outbound process for inventory, or both. Within this window you can set the stages for the inbound and outbound processes you wish to track. To see the lot number tracking, let's create a purchase order. Once you have entered the vendor and item, as well as the quantity, release the order. Now open the line table function, then the item tracking line option. Within this window you can enter the lot numbers you wish to use for the selected item. You can manually enter the lot number, like so. Or you could use a preset lot number series to allocate the lot numbers. Now, post the and receive the purchase order to create the lot numbers. The result can be viewed in the item ledger's entries with each record holding a lot number in the entry. We will now replicate this process in a sales order. Here you take the same steps as before. We select a customer, item, and quantity, then release. Now open the line table function, then the item tracking line option. And now you can select entries. You can grab a lot from these entries and it will take the maximum quantity it can from each lot to fill the quantity in the sales order. You can modify the quantities to suit your requirements. Select OK. Now ship and post. Just as before, we can go to the item ledger's entries to view the item tracking lines. There they are. And now you've seen lot number tracking in financials.